Fritz Unger on the roof of an office building. Up here is his baby, a windmill. He developed this when he was still a child. Now he has big plans for it. His vision, wind energy for everyone. Even as a small child, I passed the wind turbine on every long walk. And then I thought, why can't we also make this available to the small, everyday person? The counter-argument, small wind turbines are not effective enough. But Fritz Unger is not deterred and builds the first prototype at the age of 17. The challenge, to get as much energy as possible from the wind with the small wheel. The idea, the profiles of the wind turbine blades. The model, a simple paper airplane. Because at some point, I realized, I'll take the normal paper airplane, fold the wings straight, then it flies a certain distance. And if I just kink the front of the wing, suddenly it flies twice as far. So, a kink in the rotor blades. And indeed, the wind drives the wheel vigorously. Fritz presents his project to a jury at Jürgen Forscht, a renowned competition for natural sciences and technology. The idea is good, the feedback is positive. The young tinkerer gets plenty of tailwind. Immediately after school, he went all out and founded a company for small wind turbines. Fritz relies on a simple construction and few individual parts. But does the wind turbine really supply enough energy? He wants to show us that now. This turbine generates electricity for his office. Everything that's now running here in the office is always automatically powered by the wind turbine. That means the computers with screens. Lighting technology and advertising TV, we also have a dishwasher here in the office. So a lot of little things, I would say, that are simply part of an office. His idea is apparently not just hot air. The first orders come in and Fritz Unger looks for a production partner. In 2013, a metal construction company near Hanover recognized the potential of the system. A big step for the little wind turbine. If you think about it, basically, the first of these wings were cut almost 15 years ago for Jugend Forsch and then hand-tapped at the right angles over a batten. He now produces around 10,000 systems a year with the highest precision. A laser cuts the individual parts out of high-quality, particularly light aircraft aluminum. The finished blanks are then given the correct shape by a press. Everything has to be precise to the millimeter so that nothing wobbles or rattles later on the roof. This is the only way to convert the maximum amount of wind energy into electricity. Also, the system is particularly durable and does not need servicing. For our green hero, the decisive criterion for his mini high-tech system is... That we can build hundreds of systems with such high precision. For us, that is the key to being able to build a plant that's affordable. What we ultimately need are affordable ways to generate energy privately. The price. More on that later. His idea is well received worldwide. In South America and South Africa, interest in the wind turbines is high. Whether in a remote school in the Chilean Andes or in Sri Lanka. The system can provide energy at the location where it's needed. And that's actually worth a lot, because in more remote regions of the world, there isn't just a power grid like in Germany, where you know that electricity definitely comes from the socket. The wind turbine was actually only planned as a financeable green alternative for the German market. But the wheel makes its rounds, even on the roof of the world. The turbines are used in Nepal. To bring gas-powered cabins and schools that previously had no electricity at all into the modern age and to either provide electricity in general or electricity that's no longer based on a diesel generator and gas lamp concept. Sounds great, but our household needs a lot more electricity. Can the mini wind turbines really help us to achieve our climate goals? Germany wants to be climate neutral by 2045 at the latest. The way to achieve this ambitious goal is through renewable energies. That's where the private wind turbine would come in handy. We visit the Bremer family. It has been in operation here for two years. Hello. Nice that you're here. Thank you for coming. So, off to the roof. The good thing, the wind turbine can be erected without a permit. 
In principle, most regions of Germany are suitable for this. And the wind keeps picking up. Studies show, since 2001, the average wind speed in the northern hemisphere has increased by 7%. That means 17% more usable wind energy. Well, in the places where the screws are, that's all perfectly fine. The grounding for the lightning protection is also on. Very nice. That's good to see. Yes, can you still approve it? Definitely. Fritz Unger is satisfied. The system is still doing its job reliably after two years. Does it actually perform as expected? After all, four people live in the family household. Also, Thomas Bremer drives an electric car. How far can he go with the energy? Or did our green hero promise too much? Yes, we basically produce more electricity than we can use. It then depends on the distribution over the year. Of course, because the wind doesn't always blow with the same force or just not when electricity is needed. What does our green hero say about this? The combination of photovoltaic and wind power is a solution where I can supply myself in a good weather as well as in bad weather, as far as that's possible. The wind turbine alone does not provide enough electricity. The ideal combination, wind energy and solar power as a supplement. As a rule, there is more wind on bad weather days, and when the sun is shining, there is often a lull. Both green energy sources can work together in a meaningful way and stand in for each other, so to speak. Just like the Bremer family. After all, the family can cover 70% of their consumption with it. In winter, they take electricity from the grid, but in summer, they feed it back into the grid. The turbine writes green numbers. This is good for the climate and for the Bremer family. But many people live in apartment buildings. What about wind power for everyone there? Wind turbines about 3 meters high can also be built on these roofs. They could then supply electricity for lighting, the heating system, or the elevator. It is only important that the wind can flow freely and that no higher buildings disturb the air draft. Then nothing stands in the way of private wind energy and many small wind turbines. I'm glad we took this step because we can make a small contribution to CO2 neutrality. For the future. Wind power for everyone, from the children's room to Jugendforsch to the rooftops of the world. The wind turbine can only partially satisfy the energy consumption of a German single-family home, but as a supplement, the system is awesome.